An apparent calm came back to Haitian streets after a police officer led a march against gang violence in the country. The capital city of Port-au-Prince woke up with educational institutions and court buildings shut down, although locals started to resume their daily routine. A spate of police murders by gangs spurred a protest by officers who on Thursday attacked the residence of Prime Minister Ariel Henry and later stormed the main airport. The UN proposed three months ago to send international support to the Caribbean nation. This message is for the international community. Stop with the hypocrisy towards Haitian people. We have arrived at a very disastrous moment. Haiti is arriving at a very critical moment. If the UN wants to help us, let them help us, because the country needs military aid, aid to accompany the armed forces and police officers that we have. We'd like them to be more professional in their work to allow the country to progress. To fight criminal gangs after it was requested by Haiti's government, although diplomats said discussion appear to be stuck on which country would take the lead. Meanwhile, according to the regional director of children's agency UNICEF, many children are deprived from school and their lives are under constant threat because of the insecurity the country is going through. More than one million Haitian children remain out of school, and a similar number are under constant threat of violence in Port-au-Prince because of chronic lawlessness. Asian authorities are pleading for calm and promise better protection for cops. The Prime Minister acknowledged that the police deserve protection and his embattled government has its work cut out. Starting with meeting disgruntled police officers' demands for the equipment to do their jobs, he promised to take measures so that these acts are not repeated again.